COINTELPRO is the name for the effort by the Bureau to destroy people and to destroy organizations, or as they use the words, disrupt and neutralize. And in pursuit of this goal, FBI agents used a wide range of weapons, disseminating misinformation, creating animosities, and generally spreading havoc among the target groups. Congressman, as you know, I can't discuss a specific investigation. I'm not sure whether your characterization is accurate or not, but I, I can't provide a specific been information about a pending investigation. In the, Again, I can't comment on a specific investigation. And, uh, I'd have to look at the circumstances of what happened, but it's an ongoing investigation. That's all I can really say on it at this, at this time. I can't discuss a specific investigation. And again, I want to be careful not to discuss a specific investigation. Again, I'm not going to discuss any specific investigation. And again, I'm not going to discuss any specific investigation. I can't discuss a specific investigation. During those same 1969 inauguration ceremonies, the Washington field office of the FBI discovered that persons who were attempting to coordinate and control the demonstrations, the marshals of the demonstrators were a very useful and helpful group of persons in order to keep the demonstration orderly. Now, what did the FBI do? They found out what citizen band was being used for walkie-talkies, and they used that citizen band to supply the marshals with misinformation and pretending to be a unit of the national mobilization to end the war in Vietnam, countermanded the orders issued by the uh, movement. I would want to be more careful in my answer to you, so let me propose to get back to you with something in writing on that. I am quite confident that we are conducting ourselves in a manner consistent with the law and the Constitution and subject to extensive oversight. Uh, I don't know that I could speak do, to do every think hypothetical. Report after report about meetings of women who got together to talk about their problems. Now, how the Bureau got this information is not entirely clear, but it's apparently by informants. So we have informants running all over the country, checking up about what housewives are talking about in their efforts to decide whether women should have a different role in the society. Sir, I'm sure you can appreciate that I can't go into the specifics of sources and methods. Sir, I can't, I can't answer that. I can't answer that, sir. Footnote on the 1964 Democratic Convention. A technique which was used there was the furnishing to the FBI of false press credentials by one of the major networks, which the FBI then used in order to insert itself as a bogus newsman into legitimate discussions of political persons and protest groups. Sir, I can't answer that. Sir, I cannot answer that question. Sir, similar to the other answers, I cannot answer that. Uh, this included plans to suspend the writ of habeas corpus. It included uh, ultimately plans for a, a master warrant of arrest, whereby on the signature of the Attorney General, uh, and only that signature and without reference to the courts, thousands of people could be locked up.